What's going on, y'all? Thanks for checking in the Cali's Take. You know what to do. Hit that like, subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell just so you can get the newest and the bonus content first. But hey, let's just go ahead and jump right in. You know, Paul George said it. Paul George said it. You know, this uh, is, you know, a, a big year for them. And the championship window for them has really shrunk more than it has a few years ago and it's shrinking as we speak and with him saying that you know to me you know the Clippers know this the Clippers are very aware of this and just knowing that they know they have to at least bare minimum make the finals at least and you know I've said this on many videos and I stand by my statements because I really truly believe they have to stand on the fact of you know them being a great team and them being assembled the way they are as a team that they are the expectations are so high but with expectations being high you can't just miss on it you have to find a way to get it done and the last few years they haven't due to injuries but nobody really wants to hear the excuses everybody just wants to see the results unfortunately that's just the way life works in everything you do and sometimes you know it could be a catch-22 type situation like this but as i said nobody cares so the clippers have to find a way be the best version of themselves this season and go out there and find a way to win this championship because it's not going to come easy it's not going to come lightly the Clippers are going to have to really put in the work they're going to have to you know exercise all options they're going to have to understand that you know it's 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 their year to make their mark and to make their mark by doing that is getting to the finals and winning a championship now as I said bare minimum they got at least make the finals that's that's the 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 bar being set low you know for the Clippers they have to at least make the finals because if they don't then you know what will happen in a situation uh like 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 this for them they will find themselves where they will not be teammates anymore there will be a lot of changes on the Clippers as a team as a unit and you know with that being said you know that 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 really um you know, that, 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 that really isn't what they want. That really isn't the direction they want to go. You see what I'm saying? They want to try to find a way to win that championship so they can, you know, get over that hump and uh, break that curse. And in order for them to do that, of course, Kawhi has to be healthy. Everybody on the team has to be healthy as possible. And everybody on the team has to understand that, you know, they, they need to, you know, execute the plan, which is win a championship. And, you know, the Lakers, seeing the Lakers win one in the bubble, I know a lot of people look at that and put an asterisk beside it, but a championship is a championship. If the Clippers would have won in the bubble, you know, the Clippers would be just as excited as if they won in the bubble as if they weren't in the bubble or if they won it, you know, on the regular terms. So my point is, you know, you, you, you got to find a way to win no matter what the circumstance is. And the Clippers know that. They're very aware of that. And listen to Paul George say it, knowing that Kawhi definitely thinks that. I mean, I feel like some things Paul George is saying now, it's more or less because him and Kawhi Leonard have been so close and so tight. And he's learned so much about the game of basketball from a different angle in which Kawhi can definitely instill in him and show him because Kawhi has won championships recipe for success for the Clippers can be very high if everybody stays healthy and everybody pitches in and gets the chemistry and camaraderie that they need to you know elevate to that level and I think that they can because as I said before I think this team is built to do some great things you know um and I think if they stay together and stay healthy they can possibly you know go to a finals and win a championship more than one season I think you know personally so uh we will have to see you know how it pans out for them and everything, but you know I, I I'm, I'm confident that this team could at least make the finals. I don't really see anybody in the West that really can stand in their way of taking them, you know, for, or or lessening their opportunity of getting to the finals, except maybe like the Warriors or a team like that, or you know, uh, you know, a team of that caliber. But if it's not a team close to, of that caliber, I really don't see it happening. I just see the Clippers just taking it the distance, going all the way to the finals and seeing what happens. Because we got to be honest with ourselves, they made it to, they almost made it to the finals a, a, about a year or two ago without Kawhi Leonard. I mean, Kawhi Leonard went down in the playoffs and even still they found a way to make it to the western conference finals which they did that for the first time even without the services of Kawhi Leonard and it just shows how deep of a team they are you see what I'm saying so 
you know, with Kawhi Leonard, you really have to expect championship and really no other way to look at it because with somebody like Kawhi Leonard, it's championship or bust. I personally think if they had Kawhi Leonard instead of Paul George against the Phoenix Suns a year ago, hypothetically, if Paul George went out with an injury against Utah and Kawhi was there, uh, even without Paul George, I still think they make it to the finals and I still think they win it because I think... You know, um, Kawhi is a better player than Giannis. I think he, I think his defense is better than is than what Giannis's is, and I think he's just an overall better player because I like his scoring ability and his way of, you know, attacking a team offensively better than I like Giannis. Giannis is all dunks, power, brute force, no jump shot, not a reliable jumper, not a really reliable free throw shooter. You know, so everything has to go right for him or every or or there has to be a lot of injuries for the Greek freak to win a championship to act if you ask me. And that's how he won the championship that year. The Phoenix Suns were like the only team that was left in the West and they really weren't, you know, the best team in the West. It's just the Lakers weren't healthy, the Clippers weren't healthy. Uh I mean, you know, Luca was still was a little bit younger then. And on top of that, you know, like I said, they was really the only team out there, you know, in the West. I mean, everybody was injured. And then on the East, you had Kevin Durant injured, you know, or, or, you know, Kyrie injured, I believe. You know what I'm saying? So it's like everything just worked for them that year, which is fine. But this is the year the Clippers need to make theirs. And in order for them to do that, they have to, you know, exercise all their options, you know, in regards to, you know, being the best team they can be, but also being the most healthiest team they could be because that's been their Achilles heel this whole time. So we know their window is short and their window is even shorter now because this is this is season number four that they've all been together, or at least Kawhi and PG and Ty Lue and uh, Marcus Morris and a few others have been together. And, you know, they, they have to find a way to, to make this work. And in order for them to do that, the only way that's going to happen you know, is for them to, you know, find a way to stay healthy and at least bare minimum get to the finals. So with that being said, let's just see what happens. Let's not talk about it too much anymore. Let's just see where the dice falls and see how the Clippers end up. But hey, this is my take on everything. Leave any comments in the comment section. Check out my other videos if you haven't. And hey, Cali out.